Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. As we've discussed in the past couple of videos, Cartoon Network had a rather large presence at the NSC Animation Film Festival, where they announced a wide variety of new series, including a brand new regular show and three new Adventure Time projects. If you haven't heard about those, I have those videos up on the channel if you want to check them out. But other than that, Cartoon Network also finally announced new details on the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends spinoff series, which is taking the form of a preschool show. The series finally has a name titled Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends, and it's being described as following a young group of preschool imaginary friends who are learning from Blue, and the series, as we've known for a little while now, is only going to have Blue and Madam Foster returning for the main cast of characters. We might see some cameos from Wilt, Eduardo, and Coco and the other cast from the original show, but as for main characters in the series, it's pretty much Blue, Madam Foster, and the new cast of characters, the new imaginary friends. There's a promotional image, which I have up on screen now and this is a series that i personally am not all that excited for it's kind of crazy because i've discussed this in other videos but this series has been a little bit of a whirlwind for me when i first heard that foster's home for imaginary friends was coming back i was so excited foster's home for imaginary friends is one of my favorite cartoon network series of all time and the series definitely holds a special place in my heart i love the franchise growing up i grew up on this show so i was happy to see that we're going to be getting a brand new series within this world but then i found out it was a preschool show and as you can see on screen now, the art style is clearly meant for younger kids. The show in general is clearly meant for younger kids. It's something that's not meant for me. It's something that's probably not meant for most people who grew up on the original, and that's just a shame in my opinion. I mentioned this in the Adventure Time video, because if you guys didn't watch that video, Adventure Time is also getting a preschool show, and I feel like the fact that Adventure Time is getting a preschool show, it's getting a show meant for kids, it has the Fiona and Cake adult series, right? It's getting a show for everybody. Every demographic is getting their own Adventure Time. I wish Cartoon Network would do something something similar with Foster's, right? Because we're getting a preschool series in this Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends. But there's nothing really meant for the people who grew up with Foster's Fun for Imaginary Friends. I'm not saying we should get an adult-oriented Foster's, because let's be real here, this is a show following Imaginary Friends. I don't really think it fit well in an adult-oriented setting. I feel like if they made a show just basically akin to the original, just a new Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, maybe the characters are a little bit aged up. Maybe it's a sequel series where Mac is now working at the home. Maybe Frankie took over for, let's just say, retired Madam Foster, assuming she's still around. It could just see a different dynamic within the world. Maybe Blue, Wilt, Eduardo, Coco, maybe they're all helping out a lot more around the home. Maybe, you know, Mr. Harriman's also retired and they've kind of taken his place. Just a show like that would be something that would be an absolute treat to see. Maybe Mac has some kids of his own. Maybe his kids are becoming too old for their imaginary friends, quote unquote, and they're now going into the home. Who knows what this show could bring, but I think getting just a preschool show in this world is rather disappointing, especially for someone like me who grew up on the original. I wish they would do something more than that. I wish we would get some sort of sequel series or spin-off show within the world of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I actually made a video a while back discussing the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends project that should be in development instead of the preschool show, and I'll leave a card above to that video if you want to hear my ideas for what a potential sequel show for Foster's could look like. But nevertheless, I'll probably check out this series just because I want to see what it's like. I love the world of Foster's. I want to see how it translates into a preschool show, but this is not something that I'll be watching week to week. Again, like I said before, I really wish there was something else here for the people like me who grew up with the original show. Maybe something's coming down the pipeline, who knows, because like I said before, Adventure Time's getting multiple shows, why can't something like Foster's get multiple shows as well? But if I had to guess, if I had to put some money on it, I really don't think we're going to get anything else within this world. I really think Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends is all we're going to see in the short-term future regarding Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Hey, I could be wrong. Maybe Craig McCracken's also working on, you know, a Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends sequel show that's secretly in development, but I really don't think that's the case, especially since he's working on a Powerpuff Girls series that hasn't been talked about in a long time. That's something actually that I'm a little surprised wasn't mentioned at this festival, given all the other shows that they mentioned there. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that one to see what exactly is happening with this new Powerpuff Girls series. But for now, we got our first look at Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends preschool show title. Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends. And yeah, it's a preschool show within the world of Foster's. That's really all we can say about it. It's something that, you know, I'm not really too excited for because it's something that's not meant for me. But hopefully we end up getting another Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends series, maybe taking the form of a sequel or spinoff in the not too distant future. But for now, we have Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends and that's about it. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all this. What do you guys think about Foster's Fun Time for Imaginary Friends? Are you excited by the first look that we got or are you a bit disappointed? 
disappointed like me that we're getting a preschool show instead of a sequel series to the original. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this from DC Network. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.